our reflection time today. Could you, could you sit back up and just listen for a minute? There we go. That's a very colorful drawing there, Jack. It's great. Just sit right there. Sit on the stairs. That's perfect. Now I know you're really listening. Are you ready? Ben, are you ready? Ben? All right. Good morning. morning. He was even shaking. He was shouting that so loud. It is a good morning. It is a good morning. Why? I don't know. You don't know. Well, let's explore why it's a good morning. We are gathered today in something very special that the Bible tells us that if we really, really want to praise God, we have to be a part of it. And you know what that's called? It's called the congregation. The song we just read talks about the congregation. Why is the congregation important? Can you sing hymns at home by yourself with no one there? If you have a book or the words on a page and maybe some music tracks to listen to, but you can pretty well do it all at home. But is that the same as being here? Can you read the Bible on your own? Nope. <laughs> Not yet, Jamie, but you're going to get there. Boy, that's honest. What? Can you... Yes, that is excellent. Excellent work. Can you think about what's in the Bible? Can you think about the hymns? Okay, we're not just playing you. We're going to talk about Jesus here for a bit. We'll get back to Jamie after that. Can, sorry, can you think about the Bible? All by yourself? Yeah. Do I need to be there to make you think about the Bible? No. So we can do all these other things that we do in our church services. We can do them all at home. Is it the same as being in the congregation? Can you be in the congregation at home? That is the big sort of question of our time right now. It doesn't feel the same. But God tells us, the Bible tells us, that the Holy Spirit goes beyond the barriers of space so that the church is connected no matter where it is. But it sure is hard to feel that when you're stuck at home. And we have a lot of our, our friends and our neighbors and the members of this congregation, a member of this church, who are not able to get out or not getting out. We have had members of our church in the nursing home who we don't see for long periods of time, especially now, because they're not able to get out. But they're still a part of our congregation. But it sure feels great to be around other people. Especially these days. Why is that so good? Because of COVID, we can't get out and see people. Or because of other illnesses and other times, we don't get to see them or they don't get to see us. Why is it good that we get to see each other? So that you don't feel lonely. alone and lonely. One of the promises of heaven that this is a big reminder of is, in heaven, are you ever going to be lonely? You're never going to be lonely. You're never going to be all alone. Someone's always going to be there. And God, that's right, God who makes all things possible promises, not only is God going to be there, God's going to be at the center of everything. We're always going to know that God is there. Do you ever have that feeling sometimes? I'm not sure if God is there. It's one of the sadnesses of our life here in, in this life. 
is when we go into doubt and fear and we act as though or we think as though God isn't there. But the great thing of heaven and the wonderful thing of this fellowship is the reminder that not only are other people there, but most of all, God is here. God is with us. And that reminder is something that we are meant to take out into every part of our life. To remember that God is there, that God holds on to us, and God looks after us. And God brings us back together. And God is bringing us back together. When the whole fellowship will be gathered, not just for one hour of one day of one week, but forever and ever. And that is the great promise of heaven. And that's what the psalm we just read was celebrating, and that's what so much of the Bible tells us. So what is the congregation? The congregation is the gathering of God's people with God and with, with each other. Let us celebrate in the congregation in prayer. Let us pray. Lord God, thank you for bringing us together, however we are together. Bringing us to fellowship, bringing us to the joy of being in the same space. But more than that, Lord, you call us to be in the same spirit. Lord, we pray for those who couldn't be with us in this space this day. But in time and in your space and in the infinite infinity of what you are, Lord, Lord, you bring together a congregation beyond our understanding. And we look forward to that eternal gathering of your people. That we will never be separated from the love you have for us. And the love we share together in Jesus Christ. In whose name we pray. Amen.